What if the Traveler is also unavailable? What am I supposed to do? Well, that's your problem. It was your choice to get into this mess. Oh, but fortunately for you, it appears your savior has just arrived. Hmm? Ah, Traveler. Great, you made it. Huh. <laughs> well, it's not like you were ever really busy to begin with. Ugh, Songo! Compared to the Traveler, you're the one who has too much free time. No, I'm very busy. I'm busy standing here. I have to stand here all day. Even if it's a commission you're unwilling to take, your excuse is just pathetic. Yes, that's why I've asked you to come over. Allow me to explain. A key member of the Tenryo Commission has recently gone missing. No one has seen them, and their whereabouts are currently unknown. The Tenryo Commission has entrusted us to find this person discreetly because it would be a hassle for them to look for this person openly for a variety of reasons. Their name is... Kujosara. That's right. The General has gone missing. <sighs> if the General was really missing, the Tenryo Commission would have flipped Inazuma on its head by now. And do you think they would only commission us for a case like that? Please ignore Sango's nonsense, Traveler. In fact, the missing person's name is Shikanoin Heizo. He works as a special detective at the police station. Although his rank is merely a doshin, he is quite competent and held in high regard by the police station. Ugh. Do they think he's more competent than me? <sighs> we get that you don't want to help, Sango, but could you at least try not to make things more difficult here? Sorry, Traveler. Even though I accepted the commission, as you can see, Sango's less than thrilled to be involved in this case. Nope. If you really want to know why, it's because I absolutely refuse to deal with that brat's nonsense. The only news that could make me happier than Shikanoin has gone missing would be Shikanoin has been missing for a hundred years! <clears throat> Needless to say, Sango and Heizo have a bit of a history. Um... Uh... Ah, uh, well, it's a little more serious than that. According to Sango, Heizo was an obstacle in her path to the Temple of Truth. Like a yappy dog that was constantly in the way. <sighs> Even though Heizo has a unique personality, he's actually a nice guy. Really, I've learned a lot from him. So I can't just ignore this case, even if Sango doesn't approve. At the very least, I could entrust the commission to someone capable and trustworthy, like you- Huh? No, no, it's not like that. Listen, I'll pay the entire amount originally promised by the Tenryo Commission, and I'll even personally throw in some additional funds. I'm really hoping you can take this commission, Traveler. If Heizo truly is in danger, I know he'll be safer with you by his side. Actually, we get along great. But Sango has always asked me to keep my distance and not to act like I know him in public settings. So, when people ask, I usually just say I've met Chikanoin a few times. If it hadn't been for today's incident, I'd... Uh, well, let's not get into that. Anyway, could you please help look for him? Well, that's about all I have to tell you. Oh, it's you! The captain of Swordfish 2? My name is Shibata. I'm in charge of the watch here. May I inquire as to what the captain needs? So his name is Shikano Heizo, huh? Yes, I'm familiar with the detective. He used to stroll around the area. Her Excellency had assigned me to keep a close eye on him at the time, fearing that he would do something unpleasant, but I eventually realized that he acted more like he was on a trip or something. Come to think of it, I believe he was recently spotted in the area east of the Sanganamiya Shrine. you guys. I'm nothing but a poor tourist with empty pockets. Please, you can just let me go. 
I was wondering who could be valiant enough to wipe the floor with these guys so easily. Turns out it was the Distinguished Traveler. Really, I can't thank you enough. Of course I was aware of you long before you arrived in Inazuma. Though the Sakoku Decree managed to keep the country locked up, it wasn't able to stop the incredible stories about you. Every day, all of those little stories would come scurrying over to my desk, like files with little feet. I was actually thinking about going to meet you, once I wrapped up the business at hand. Ah, I got so excited, I nearly forgot to introduce myself. Ahem. The name's Shikanoin Heizo, Special Detective of the Tenryo Commission. It's a pleasure to meet you, Traveler. I wish you all the best on your journey through Tevat, by the way. Huh. I guess that means I've taken over as the main character in your story today. I've always heard that you take commissions from all kinds of people, helping everyone out with everything you can imagine. So now it's my turn to take your help, huh? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. That was already obvious to me. It's no coincidence that you've arrived here. Because that would be the stuff of an epic novel. The two protagonists of the story both travel to Watatsumi Island by chance and cross paths as if by fate. The Traveler from afar heroically rescues the weak and defenseless detective from the clutches of the ruthless Nobushi. <sighs> Traveler, you are so dreamy. Unfortunately, though, I don't believe in coincidences. So... Guessing you came to me on the police station's commission, didn't you? I'm a detective. <laughs> Can you guess what gave it away? <laughs> Sounds like you already have some ideas about the work of a detective. Let me ask you this. What's that your little sidekick is holding? If I'm not mistaken, it's a commission letter from the police station. Oh, what? Uh, Paimon's just here to take a look! And hey! Who are you calling a little sidekick? Paimon was worried she might be in danger, so Paimon came to help! <sighs> you two staring at Paimon? Is Paimon not supposed to be here? Yeah, I'm also just taking a look. Hmm. She can look, but you can't. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't be like that. After all, this is the first time I've seen a voice. I must admit, I'm most intrigued. Huh? Voice? What are you talking about? A vision is an external magical focus, right? Well, similarly, a voice is an external voice box. I've heard that the Traveler isn't very talkative, but given how chatty you are, you must be her voice, right? That sounds awful! Paimon's not somebody's voice! Paimon's emergency food! Uh, 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 no! Uh, uh, wait! Oh, Paimon's so upset she can't think straight! Paimon is Paimon! How you give Paimon such a terrible nickname! We came here to rescue you, but you actually opened the cage yourself! You were only pretending to be captured by the Nobushi, weren't you? Hmm, pretty suspicious if you ask Paimon! Come out with it, mister! What kind of schemes are you up to? Sheesh. For someone who says they don't want to be a voice, you sure do talk a lot. Hmm! <laughs> Well, let me think for a moment. Yes, all this started a long time ago, during the war. Kujo Takayuki, who was head of the Tenryo Commission at the time, had secretly asked me to investigate the military capabilities of Sanganamiya. But I had already grown tired of the guy for a while, <laughs> so I simply treated the trip as a paid vacation. I had heard that Watatsumi Island is really beautiful. As for the mission, I thought I'd just come up with some random excuses or whatever when I reported back. But guess what? The first night I arrived on Watatsumi Island, I had a dream. 
The dream contained only one message, an echo resounding from the depths of the earth that kept ringing in my ears, saying, Something vital is missing on this island. Isn't that bizarre? Something vital has gone missing on this island. Has something evaporated into thin air? Hmm... What could it be? Paimon bets it must be something delicious. You know, because the soil of Watatsumi Island can't grow crops. There's a shortage of food here. Oh. Food, huh? Hmm... How about you, Traveler? What do you think is missing? Hmm... That was an unexpected response. <laughs> It'd be right at home in a novel. Interestingly, I didn't have the same dream again after I left this place. Some people believe that dreams represent the Divine's helping hand, which I suppose is understandable. However, if you ask me, dreams have nothing to do with the gods. Instead, they are flashes of intuition. It was my intuition telling me that there was something important about this island that... Poof! Suddenly vanished. So I decided to accept this little commission from my intuition and investigate to see if I could come up with any compelling findings. Unfortunately, the investigation has had little progress up to this point. Who knows? I felt there was something peculiar about them, so I pretended to get captured to see if there were any leads that would surface. And that's when you showed up. Nah, don't worry about it. These guys were just a bunch of small fries. Besides, your arrival is much more important to me. I have a feeling you can help me find the answer to my dream. So how would you like to partner up on this one? We can work together to solve the mystery. Yes, of course, I understand. But let me ask one more question. Did the police station say they are looking for me because of something important? Well, then it's probably nothing major. Most likely they're short on staff or something petty like that, and they happen to remember their model employee. So since we're already here, why don't we just solve this puzzle together? Once everything is settled, I'll gladly accompany you back to the police station, or anywhere else you'd like to go. What do you think? <laughs> it's a deal then, partner. So, let's get started, shall we? First, we can search the camp for clues. Ooh, what's the shiny thing? Oh, it's a sack of... Hey, isn't this crystal mirror? So, have you found anything? Yes, I've found pretty much the same. And there really are a lot. Aren't these all super expensive? Oh, these must be the valuable things that went missing from the island! <laughs> I don't know if I'd go that far. The Nabushi would be very hard-pressed to find many opportunities to get their hands on commodities like these. Huh? What do you mean? Did the Nabushi gather all this themselves? No, that's unlikely. Crystal marrow is a rare material for crafting weapons, and Sango pearls are an even more precious commodity. Here's what I think. Due to Watatsumi's poor soil, the island's economy is quite fragile and heavily reliant on the trade of these special resources. So, it's absolutely vital that they keep them under lock and key and well out of the Nobushi's reach. Which means, they got lucky with a huge batch like this. My guess is they ambushed a caravan. <laughs> if we go ask around the Sanganamiya Shrine, we can find out if there have been any recent instances of caravans being plundered. Perfect. I knew you'd be a huge help. <laughs> well, duh! The Traveler is Paimon's companion, after all. Captain, I see you found the detective. <sighs> <laughs> what?
Watatsumi Island sure is a beautiful place. I don't think I could ever leave. <laughs> you can stay as long as you like, granted you don't cause any trouble, that is. Her Excellency has stated that all friendly visitors are welcome. Incidents of stolen goods? Not that I'm aware of. Her Excellency has recently launched several measures to boost the economy, including the development of trade routes and establishing our own caravans. Troops have also been deployed to protect them, so it is only reasonable to assume that the current trade routes are already very safe. Any looting or theft would be practically unthinkable. That's strange. Then where did the Nobushi get those goods from? Huh? You mean you found goods of unknown origin? Yep, and it's all Sango pearls and crystal marrow, so we know it's local. Could there have really been a theft that hasn't been reported? That shouldn't be the case. <sighs> well, perhaps you could go ask Todoroki. He's responsible for the caravans and is usually in the village at night preparing the goods. If something has happened, he should know about it. Great. Thank you for all the info. Hey, Traveler! It's been a while. I've missed you. Uh, why didn't you inform me that you'd be coming over today? Ah, General Goro. You're dismissed, Shibata. You may go about your other duties while I catch up with the Traveler. Yes, General Goro. I overheard you discussing a case of stolen goods. Is that right? That's right! We found a lot of Watatsumi's valuable products in a Nabushi camp! I see. So you've come to ask if we know of any relevant cases. Well... I'm ashamed to say that... Yes, the caravans have been plundered. And not just once, I'm afraid. We had already dispatched additional forces to protect the caravans. Yet the crooks still managed to get away with the goods. And you're concerned that if this kind of news were to get out, it would undermine the confidence of other caravans. So you didn't make it public, and instead kept the news to only a select few. Ah, huh, that's correct. I never expected you to be so concerned about Watatsumi's affairs, Detective Heizo. <laughs> Just a force of habit, really. As a detective, I notice these kinds of things. So, you two already know each other? Actually, I've only heard of Detective Hazo from the soldiers' reports. We've never met in person. Ah, uh, darn it. You're right. Now that you mention it, I've been on Watatsumi Island all this time and still haven't properly introduced myself. Man alive, please forgive me. It's a pleasure to meet you, General Goro. I'm Shikanoin Hazo of the Tenryo Commission. Yes, it's a pleasure to meet you too. I'd like to express my gratitude to you for stepping in and helping recover those goods. Ah, don't mention it. You never know what you'll find when you're out for a stroll. But, if the source of the problem is not addressed, I'm afraid this sort of situation will continue cropping up for you. Yes, of course. Not only have we reassured the affected caravans, but we also dispatched personnel to investigate the culprits. The reports indicated that the stolen goods were being delivered to a merchant of the International Trade Association named Godot. It all seems pretty unusual. We suspect that there are bigger players behind Godot, and that their target is none other than Watatsumi Island's valuable resources. But unfortunately, it would be difficult for us to investigate further, given that... Given that, Rito, the island where the International Trade Association is located is not part of your territory, yes. They have cleverly picked their base of operations. I can see you catch on quickly, Detective Hazo. <laughs> it's my guess that you're telling us this because you're going to ask us to assist you in finding who's behind all this, right? <laughs> you're always thinking one step ahead. Yes, those were exactly my intentions. And of course, we will prepare a generous reward for you. At the recent end of the war, trade and commerce have now become an important component of Watatsumi Island's development. Ensuring safety of the trade routes is critical, and we can't afford any further incidents. So, will you please help Watatsumi Island, Detective Hazo? I'm willing to assist, but it all depends on what she wishes. Great! With both Detective Hazo and the Traveler on the case, I'm sure it'll be solved in no time. The situation is now in your capable hands. I look forward to hearing your report when you get back. All right. We'll take care of it. Traveler, let's go discuss where to head from here. Hey! Why are we talking way over here? Oh, you're not trying to...
to get away from Goro so he can't overhear us, are you? Very perceptive. Seems even Paimon has her moments. Let me ask you, do you believe in intuition? Huh? Intuition? Where are you going with this? My intuition tells me that General Goro is lying. What? How could you say that? Uh, although he did seem a little on the serious side today, but... Goro's a good guy! Good people can be deceptive, too. After all, everyone has their secrets. Well, in my opinion, the timing of his appearance was a little too coincidental. Sanganamiya soldiers have been keeping an eye on me for the entire time I've been on Watatsumi Island, yet I had never seen General Goro even once. But today he came out and met with us, and even commissioned us to investigate a case. Maybe that's because the Traveler is here today, and Goro thinks she's more capable. Really? Huh. Then that makes things even more peculiar. If there are powerful players behind this case, and he needs to draw upon external support, then he should have taken action sooner rather than wait until today. A more plausible explanation is that the items we discovered are linked with some unspeakable secret, and he had to intervene to prevent us from digging any deeper. Then he put up a smokescreen to mislead us. I surmise that investigating the merchant Godot on retail will yield no results. Whoa! Are you serious? Uh, but this is all just a hunch you have, right? Actually, there is another key factor behind my reasoning, though you may not believe me. I sense something... special about Goro. Something special? Yes. Whatever is missing on this island, I sense it in him. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold it right there! Are you saying Goro's a thief? As in he took something valuable? It's not that simple. I can't fully explain it. It's just my... Uh, intuition. Sure, I trust your judgment. But perhaps you're overlooking someone else, the true leader here. It's simple. We should just investigate whatever it is they're trying to hide from us. And what were we planning to do just before Goro showed up? going to talk to the leader of the caravans. Uh, yeah, someone named Todoroki. Bingo, there's no time to lose. Let's go talk to this Todoroki. A blade is like a tea leaf. Only those who sample it many times can appreciate its true qualities. Todoroki, the shipment has arrived and is ready for inspection. Good, let's go. Hey, it's Todoroki! Shh, keep quiet. Let's follow him and see where he leads us. Your intel was spot on. When we arrived, the Nobushi were all still asleep. <laughs> we captured them all, and the goods were retrieved and brought back here. I'll take a look. Hmm. Everything seems in order. Good work. It's nothing. 
Thanks to the efforts of your caravan, the price of grain in the village has decreased. That's right. And who would have thought that the injuries we sustained during the war would have such a lingering effect on our bodies. But thankfully, you also brought back some life-saving medicine. Things are improving, thanks to the help from those up top. Oh, by the way, what is the state of the village's inventory? Make sure that it's confirmed tonight. I have to leave tomorrow morning after I go to the Sanganomiya Shrine and get instructions from General Goro. Don't worry. We've already prepared the list. Just follow us. <gasps> the soldiers from Sanganomiya seized the Nabushi stolen goods? But didn't Goro say all the stolen goods were headed to the International Trade Association? Glass lilies? What are these doing here? Shouldn't it be crystal marrow or something? And Todoroki said he'll get instructions from Goro tomorrow. Interesting. It appears these seized goods were never... This box is packed so tight! It looks like it could burst! Let's see what's inside! Huh? What are all these plants and flowers? Oh, there's a small mill here! Jingxian? Paimon was expecting to find Sang- The price is... No. So, did you find anything? Wow! Look at all the Jingxian! And glaze lilies too! There are also tons of other plants and flowers Paimon doesn't know here! Weird! These are valuable raw ingredients for producing medicine. If these few crates were to be imported from Rito, the price would be jaw-dropping. On top of that, these items seem to lack a tax clearance certificate, meaning that they were most likely smuggled. Yes, very interesting. Now, where did the Nobushi get these goods? How about you? Did you find anything else? Foreign Trade Association? I've never heard of such an organization in Rito. And if it's regarding foreign trade, then smuggling is an even more likely possibility. All right. In which case, I have a rough hypothesis. First, we... Huh? Who goes there? Oh no! We've been spotted! Huh? Wait... Captain? Is that you? Oh! So it's you, Captain. You had me worried there. We almost mistook you for bandits. <laughs> Captain, do you remember us? During the war, I was in the field hospital with Masashi. Tepe brought you to see us and helped find medicine for us. Hey, come on now. The captain wouldn't forget. I gotta tell you, Captain. We all miss you. We haven't seen you ever since the end of the war. When we heard that you were coming here, we just assumed you were only going to see General Goro and Her Excellency. The guys are all really hoping to see you. We're fine. You don't have to worry about us, Captain. No, you're not fine. Captain, you may not be aware, but Masashi previously fainted on the front lines. According to the doctor, if it hadn't been for the medication he's been taking, he would have developed dementia. And that was assuming the best case scenario. You're one to talk. Don't forget why I fainted in the first place. Later, I found out that he'd been shot in the buttocks, and it was only a mild injury. What do you mean for nothing? I got shot not by one, but two arrows in a row. And because the arrows were poisonous, the wound still hasn't completely healed yet. I have to apply ointment every day, and I'm constantly worried it might reopen while I sleep. Look on the bright side. At least we're still alive. Yeah, I suppose you're right. But enough about us. What brings you here, Captain? Uh, oh, these goods were all seized from the hands of Nobushi and treasure hoarders. He mentioned there were bandits here and there, so we went and took care of them while also confiscating the goods. By the way, Captain, you still haven't met Todoroki, have you? He's the one we're working for now. Her Excellency recently announced plans to stimulate the economy and created the caravans, with Todoroki at the helm. 
Yeah, he's proven to be quite capable. Even though he was just a farmer before, he's now successfully running the caravans. And his two sons were also our brothers in arms. Both received a special medal of honor from General Goro, which is quite remarkable, don't you think? So, as injured veterans, we've been reassigned to Todoroki. What do they call that again? It's called changing careers, dummy. Ah, right. Changing careers. Anyway, I think the whole caravan thing is wonderful. I can't even imagine trying to maintain and feed an army like we did during the war. I see. I think I understand the general situation now. May I ask where the apprehended criminals are? Oh, uh... And you are? Ah, I see. The captain's friend. It should be okay to tell you then. Unfortunately, Masashi and I have other duties tonight and won't be able to take you there. I'm pretty sure I've already got a grasp on what's going on. All I need now is to confirm it with the apprehended bandits. Let's go. Are you still a little confused? <laughs> Let me help connect the dots. This whole thing was actually quite similar to a case I once worked on previously. It was a case involving the trade of prohibited items, and they employed an old trick to execute the deal. The culprit would first go strolling down the street until they knocked over a pedestrian on purpose, using the opportunity to slip the prohibited goods... <laughs> Sir! Please forgive us, sir! Oh, we are nothing more than petty thieves! <laughs> sir? What do I look like? A commissioner? Does my friend here look like a commissioner to you? Uh, 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 officer! Officer! First, I'm gonna need to ask you a few questions. Uh, sure! G go ahead, H ask anything. The soldiers discovered many valuable goods in your camp. Oh, the goods? Uh, right, we picked them up at... The beach! You picked them up. Uh, well, no, we, uh, actually stole them. Be honest now. Tell me the whole story. Yes, sir. I, I, I mean, officer. <laughs> uh, we took those goods from a small merchant ship just off the beach, but we didn't exactly steal them. Uh, you see, the ship's guards all took off running the moment they saw us. They abandoned the goods, and we simply came and picked them up. But next thing we know, a group of soldiers arrives, and we're all apprehended. <laughs> Talk about bad luck. We didn't even have a chance to stash away the goods before we got caught. You say that the merchant ship's guards fled without putting up a fight. <laughs> you expect me to believe that? You just assumed they were scared witless and didn't have the guts to fight. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not bragging or anything, but... <laughs> Our boss is pretty intimidating. With his massive muscle and strength, he could scare anyone. <laughs> you really expect us to believe all this? No, 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 you gotta believe me. Just the other day, we scared off an entire squad of soldiers. I still remember seeing tons of Sango pearls and crystal marrow in that load. Unfortunately, a bunch of pirates came later and snatched those goods. Wait a tick. Pirates? Yep, no doubt about it. They came on a massive ship, and their captain was a pretty lady with an eye patch. <laughs> it was like, boom, boom, thud! Only took three hits before she knocked out the boss. <gasps> a pretty lady with an eye patch? Oh, does this description remind you of someone, Paimon? Uh, <laughs> no! <laughs> Doesn't remind Paimon of anyone. Okay... And how about you? <laughs> really? Okay, I'll take that as a no, then. It appears that the situation is just as I suspected. What? How could that be? Todoroki said that he'd be going to Sanganomiya early tomorrow morning to get Goro's instructions before the caravan leaves. Now is the time to address any doubts you may have. Hopefully, my final question will be answered then as well. The question of what important thing this island is missing. I can feel some connection to the question in Goro, Todoroki, and even Takuda and Masashi. Hopefully, we'll finally have an answer tomorrow. <sighs> Let's get some rest. I'll see you at Sanganamiya tomorrow morning.
<sighs> I only wish life could be as leisurely as this a little more often. <laughs> How greedy. Uh, who are you? Hello, Todoroki. I'm Shikanoin Heizo, Special Detective of the Tenryo Commission. I believe you've been manipulating large-scale illegal trades for some time now. Mind if we talk about that for a bit? <laughs> you can't just go around spewing such nonsense, young man. And what if I'm not talking nonsense? Ridiculous. I don't have time to listen to this. Get out of here, you little brat! <laughs> I know I'm on the younger side compared to you, Todoroki, so I'm sure you must have heard the old saying. Off the scale, some goods only weigh a couple pounds, but on the scale, they weigh more than a thousand. So the question is, do you want to put your goods on the scale or not? What are you trying to say? <laughs> well... Nothing. All I want to hear is you personally confirming what we already know to be the truth. Masashi! Tokura! Arrest these people! Huh? Todoroki, what's wrong? Who dares to cause trouble at Sangonomiya Shrine? Huh? Wait, it's... Captain? What are you doing? These crooks are trying to pry into the secrets of Watatsumi! We mustn't let them go! But, uh, no. There must be some kind of misunderstanding. Todoroki, this is the captain of Swordfish 2, one of our, our own. <laughs> it doesn't matter who they are. Remember what General Goro told you? The long-term goal of Watatsumi is to revive its trade and commerce. I don't care if they were your captain. Would you dare disobey orders? I... Uh... What do we do? Well, what are you waiting for? All right, I see how it is. If you two won't do it, I will. I really hoped it wouldn't come to this. But, here we go. Wait, everyone, stand down! General Goro, you're here. My apologies, Traveler, Detective Hazo. I wasn't telling you the truth. Todoroki, the Traveler here is the hero who saved Watatsumi Island. How could you be so naive, General Goro? If we let them go free, then who's to say the Shogunate won't come after us tomorrow? I wouldn't allow them to take you, Todoroki. Ah, <sighs> let's not kid ourselves. The question is, what are we going to do with the goods? Will you be able to keep them? No, Goro. We both know that Watatsumi Island is a barren land. You can't grow food or medicinal herbs here, and if we buy them from Rito, we pay exorbitant taxes. My eldest son died fighting on the battlefield. You awarded both of them medals of honor. But did that save their lives? Can medals heal Tokura and Masashi's wounds? No. It was the medicine that I got that saved their lives. If we detain them today, the Shogunate will never know what we've done. We will set them free once the new bill is passed in just a few months, and everything will be okay. I understand, Todoroki, but they won't... I, I can trust the Traveler won't, but the detective here is a Tenryo commission officer. Uh, forget it. You're the general. I'm just a radish farmer. Uh, it's a new commodity tax bill currently being drafted by the Kanjo Commission. Once the bill's introduced, we'll be able to buy commodities that we need from regular marketplaces. Oh, t I see. Man alive. I wish I had known sooner. 
<laughs> in that case, how about we put your fears at ease and I'll stick around here a little longer. You know, until the bill is introduced. Huh? Oh, uh, D Detective Hazel, are you saying that... You mean you're willing to stay here, young man? Come on, you two. What's with the strange looks? You've been keeping me under close surveillance, haven't you? Surely you must have noticed that aside from being a detective, I'm all... I believe that after the new commodity bill is passed, there will be more and more traffic between the two sides. I have to take the opportunity now and enjoy this place while I still have it all to myself. Ha! Huh. Thank you, Detective Hazo. On behalf of the people of Watatsumi. My pleasure. But one good turn deserves another, does it not? Oh, you mean there's something you wish to request? I suppose you could say I'm from the Shogunate, but the Traveler next to me isn't. As far as I know, she is planning to visit other nations soon, and it is unclear if she will return to Narukami Island or not. I'm sure no one else will hear of what happened today. Am I right, Traveler? Well, it's settled then. She will always be an important partner to Watatsumi, and I would never dream of limiting her freedom. I'll hold you to that. But, if I ever find out you've lied to me again, there's a chance I'll lose my cool. I'm... sorry for not telling you the truth earlier. But today, I realized my poor judgment. <laughs> I'm glad you understand now. But, in all honesty, I'm the one who should be thanking you. It's because of you that I was finally able to reach an answer. Ah, I understand now. You really are an interesting person, Detective Hazo. <laughs> No, I'm afraid you don't quite get what I mean. Uh. Wait, wait! Paimon gets this one! It's the answer to your question, right? What? Uh, the thing you sensed coming from me? <laughs> no, not like that! <laughs> hey, uh, Traveler, could I talk to you for a moment? Besides, I haven't had a chance to thank you yet. It's remarkable how such a barren land can give life to such wonderful and stunning scenery. To be honest, I am grateful to you for this trip. Before you arrived, I was running around like a headless chicken. <laughs> Even if I happened to find out what was going on here, I wouldn't have been able to uncover any concrete information without you present. I'm just sorry that I promised I'd accompany you back. Eh, it's all in the past now. Let's just chalk it up as an intriguing experience I had on my trip here. Yes. Everyone you led me to and everything they said brought me closer to the answer. And now I finally get it. Watatsumi Island is an ancient land, where the soil is poor and many crops do not grow, but what the inhabitants of this land do have is bravery. That missing element. That certain thing is what I sensed present in Goro, Todoroki, Tokuda, and Masashi. Which is... the true vitality of this land. I guess I was mistaken when I declared that something was missing. When water is heated by fire, it evaporates and eventually finds its place in the sky. This is the final answer I've been searching for. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> thanks again. You know, even though we just met, I wish you could be my partner all the time. <laughs> but, of course, I know that's impossible. You have your own journey to complete. So I'll just keep doing what I can. Hopefully keeping my memories from evaporating safe and sound in my mind. That way, I'll always be able to remember these beautiful things.